These last few episodes of the Magical Revolution of the Reincarnated Princes is really going from zero to a thousand real freaking quickly. So, in the last couple episodes, we find out that Lainey is actually a vampire, and with her being a vampire, she actually has this power to control people's emotions and how they perceive her, and, well, people see her in a more positive light because of that, although she cannot actually control it. And I low-key thought she was going to be the villain, but no, she's actually just a really innocent, sweet girl. At least that's what we know of so far, although I still got my speculations about her. I'm still being a little bit wary. Although, who we know is actually the villain is Augured, and, man, this guy just keeps getting more and more scummy by the episode. It's actually crazy, because we already, you know, hated him, at least I did from the first episode, with the whole thing with Euphelia, but no, his, uh, his scumminess knows no end. He's actually not really in love with Lainey, he is to a certain extent because of her power, but no, the whole reason why he wanted Lainey to be his bride is purely for her power. To make matters worse, he actually goes to Anis's palace while she is away giving out the speech, and that was totally his plan to begin with, to get, you know, Anis and Euphelia away from her palace so that he can infiltrate it and take Lainey's power. And while he is there, he fights Idia and leaves her pretty wounded, I want to say, and nearly kills Lainey. Yep, yeah, he just like straight up rips a hole through her. And I low-key actually did think that she died in this episode because I was on the good old Twitters and did see spoilers about it, although it was totally my fault because I did click the spoiler tag, and yeah, I totally thought, you know, that's R.I.P. her, but she still seems like, you know, she's alive and going to be, you know, okay because she is a vampire, and I mean, I would really be shocked if she did die. That would honestly make me go, what the heck, man? but I think she'll be actually okay. If she did die, that would bring the shock factor definitely up to a thousand. He's a total POS because this entire time he was just using Lainey to get her vampire powers and nearly RIPs her in the process. Although I'm not defending him in any way, I don't think what he's doing is justified. Kinda understand why he's doing this, but I don't agree with it because there is a better way to go about this. He does see that there is a difference between royalty and commoners and how they are treated. Com Commoners are treated very, very poorly because they don't have magic, and all these royal people, you know, just treat them like, you know, they're trash, they're garbage. I can understand why he would want to change that. That is a very noble goal, and, you know, honestly, I think that is a W for him to do. But the way that he's going about it is, well, yeah, that's pretty much villain psychopathic, yeah, kind of way to go about it. Because he wants Lainey's power so that he can control the entire kingdom and, well, just brainwash these people. Yeah, very noble goal, but you bet it's a terrible way to go about it. Another thing that I can kind of sympathize with him with is the fact that, you know, he didn't want to be king. He did not want to be heir to the throne. And the reason he is is because of Anis. And I did read a comment that explains why Anis did give up her position as heir to Bifrom. And if his comment is correct, it's a very, very eye-opening thing because, well, we all know that Anis does not have magic and, well, she is, you know, treated differently. She is looked down upon to a certain extent and people just do not think that she is worthy to be heir to Bifrom. And people do wish and state that they really wish Anis did have magic. And that does, you know, mess with Algird a lot. And I can understand that because, you know, people don't see him as the true heir to Bifrom. They don't want him to be the heir to Bifrom. Which, I mean, like, you know, he's clearly showing that he's not fit for it. And yeah, that would really mess with your mental. You know, being told that, oh, you're not worthy and everything. Your sister, you know, is better than you. But, you know, because she does not have magic, she was born this way. We have to deal with you. You're you know, just kind of gotta do it now, you know, so I can understand, you know, his stress to a certain extent. Now, honestly, him being king could be an absolute big W if he wasn't a total psychopathic POS, because think about it, all right? If he became king and was a good person, he could actually promote Anis's gadgets and her inventions because, well, he has the power of king. He would hopefully have charisma and be able to lead people into believing in Anis more and show her inventions in a more positive light. And as the title implies, this could be revolutionary. You know, Anis's gadgets would be promoted to everyone. They have the king's backing and, you know, lead the entire kingdom and the world into a brighter future. 
So yeah, definitely a very, very good, interesting anime so far. I can definitely recommend it. Although I'm not gonna lie, I really do wish we had a bit more Yuri. That is what it is. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time.